But God is the faithful God. There is not before him, there is not beside him. Faithful is our God, merciful and kind. Who else would have gone to Calvary for us? Who else would have done it for us? If not for Jesus, I don't know where we be today. If it had not been for his grace, if it had not been for his mercy, if it had not been for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The title of my message today is right now is our resurrection. Most of the time we don't realize that the resurrection power is working each and every single moment in our lives. But today I want you to know that the resurrection power of God is working in your life every single moment. Sometimes we don't know that we are experiencing resurrection in our day-to-day -day affairs. When you lie down and you wake up, you have experienced resurrection. The resurrection power of God is always at work for us. Please, if you have your Bible, go with me to John 11, 25. In John 11, 25, Jesus said, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? This is Jesus speaking. Jesus is telling us, even before he went to the cross, he was telling us already that he is our resurrection. He is our life. No matter what we think in our lives that is dead, no matter what we think in our lives that is not working, Jesus told me to tell you this morning that he is our resurrection. What does it mean to resurrect? To resurrect means that to renew. To resurrect means to revitalize. There may be areas in our lives that are weak right now. Jesus said, I am resurrecting those parts, for I am your resurrection. To resurrect means to rejuvenate. God is rejuvenating every area of our lives, every second. Right now is our resurrection. Most of the time, these experiences that we go through are not meant to keep us down. Yes, we all go through challenges. We all go through tough times. But Jesus Christ sent me to come and tell you that He is your resurrection and your life. The Lord Jesus Christ is now revealed in our lives. We are to set our hearts on the glory of God. We are to set our hearts on the goodness of God. We are to set our hearts for the time when the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed. And when is the Lord Jesus Christ revealed? The Lord Jesus Christ is revealed right now. He is our resurrection. He is the life. He is our goodness. He is our mercy. He is our life. He is our health. He is our strength. He is. He is. The Lord Jesus is. Sometimes situations come our way that look dead, that looks as if there is no hope again. But I want you to know that we have been born into a living hope. We are to set our minds, as the scripture says, it says we are to set our mind for the time when the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed. And right now the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed in our lives. We are not dead. We are not children that are serving a dead God. So to wash up trials, circumstances come our way. But there is someone who has paid a price. A great price has been paid. Right now is our resurrection. Right now are we experiencing the resurrection of God. Even in the areas that have looked as if God is not there. In those areas of our lives where there seems as if nothing is happening. I want to tell you there is a resurrected spirit that lives in us. There is a spirit of resurrection that lives in us that enables us to begin again.